so we're here in part two and I'm just gonna go ahead and rig. So let me select my skeleton layer here so we can see all our bones there. All right, now I'm gonna start from my first folder here, which is the head. So I'm gonna um, hold down the control key, click on my head, my head layer. Uh, well, actually let me click on the head layer first so I can know which one of these points is which. I'm gonna click any of the points on the head layer here. Hold on control and left click on skeleton and I'm gonna right click any of the points on the head and just click link to bone, all right? And uh, we can test that to see if it works. And that works, all right? So let me undo that. Uh, be careful how far you undo because you might undo the parenting, all right? Uh, so because of that, I'm just going to test test um, the entire rig when I'm done parenting every part of the rig, okay? Or every part of the body. Now, the second part is the upper body. So I'm just going to left click, hold on control, left click on the skeleton, uh, right click, link to bone, lower body, select a point, hold on control, left click on the skeleton. And uh, let me zoom in here to get one of those points on the lower body. All right, so those are all linked and I'm just gonna move on to the left hand here. And I'm gonna click on this point, hold on control, click on the skeleton, right click, link to bone, uh, select the point. This is the lower left arm. So left, the lower left arm is this one here, link to bone, upper left arm, click on any of the points, hold on control, skeleton, right click, link to bone. And now we're over to the right hand, so I'm going to select, well, let me just select the, the, um, the rotation point just to show you that you can select any of the points. And hold on control, left click on my skeleton layer, and uh, right click, link to bone. Uh, up lower right hand, select that, select this one here, and right click, link to bone, upper arm, Select that, control, left click, right click, link to bone. So if you don't know how to do that by now, um, you know, you have lots of reference points to go back to. Uh, now for the waist, uh, I don't necessarily have to parent the waist, but I'm going to parent it to uh, this bone here, right click, link to bone, upper leg, well, upper left leg. So let me select this right click link to bone lower left left leg right let me right click link to bone and foot select this point there let me go back to that so this point control right click link to bone so once you know how to do this i mean you can move pretty quickly to complete what you need to complete up leg okay upper leg here lower right leg, control, click on that, da 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 da, right click, link to bone, foot, click on this point, skeleton, right click, link to bone. All right, now let me save and see what we got, and see what we got right here. Uh, let me actually move these guidelines out of the way by just left clicking and dragging them away. And uh, Make sure that I have my skeleton layer selected. Oh, let me save again. And now I can do all sorts of tests on this, right? So that is looking fine. Uh, let me rotate this point there. That is looking fine. Yeah, that is looking fine. Mm, that is looking okay. That is okay. All right, so this the, the rig is looking pretty, pretty fine here not seen any problems but well the only issue we have is uh this part right here and that's to do with how i made up the rig right oh i made up the the drawing rather uh so if i should go to upper left leg here and i think it's one of those points i have turned on because i have two colored circles so if i should turn this off you can see that and then all i would have to do is move um fix this piece right here like by just uh like moving them in okay like so to fix that point all right but so i'm just going to undo that though 
and uh, make sure that my rig back to normal before I do any of that. Uh, the, the problem with this is that there's no reset button to reset the rig to the default state. Uh, although thinking about it, I'm wondering if I could somehow create one. But anyway, for all purposes here, that is fine. So I'm going to turn off this circle because that was what was giving us the problem. And of course, I'm going to move these points in. And uh, when, when we're actually um, animating, we can fix that part right there. Uh, let me actually go to the upper right leg and uh, fix that part there. Let me turn off this one here, like so. And let me alter this. Again, you won't be, you won't see, you won't be, you won't see the issue until you start animating. But uh, so let's leave that for now, okay? But for the most part, the rig is working fine. Uh, and always remember to save. So I'm just gonna call this uh, do -do 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 body underscore R for rig, right? Okay, so we're done with that and let's move on to the face. Now, so to, to rig the face, I'm gonna go into the head folder here right and um inside here i'm going to click on face right click new layer other skeleton right and let me just call this face now i'm going to move this bone up here like so somewhere between these two points here i mean it doesn't really matter where because it will be controlling the face area here and i'm going to go to angle rotate that by 90 degrees uh, let me just move this up a bit like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent this first let me just parent this right click link to bone then that controls the entire face there and I am going to create separate bones for the ears here so I'm gonna right click this da -da -da -da, new other skeleton and I'm going to and notice I'm above the ears here so I'm going to call this ears but we don't want the ears to move together so after I create this I'm going to right click create a child bone but I'm going to remove the parent so that they can be independent none and uh, by the way keep in mind that uh, there are other ways that we could rig this all right, this is just one way. Um, at least one way that I know sort of works. <laughs> so let me click on this one and I'm gonna rotate this by 90 degrees. Click on this one, rotate it by 90 degrees. All right, I'm going to da -da -da, ear left. Let me select this. Oh, wait. Left here, select that, hold on control, click on that, and then right click link to bone. And then let me try the the right here now. Uh, by clicking this, then clicking on ears, right click, link to bone. Alright, so we can move those independently. Right? And when we move the well, when we move the head. They also move, all right? Because the bones are within the, um, the the head group, so whatever is controlling the head will control everything within it. Um, all right, so we have the ears. Let me move on to the... Uh, now you might be wondering why couldn't I like use the face uh, and parent and create the bones and then remove the parent so they could all be a part of the face bone. To prevent any future issues, I just want to make sure that um, I have most of these things separate, namely the ears and the eyebrows, right? Anything that will need to be move, moved independently. For the eyebrows, they are within a folder that is within a folder. Okay, so let me open up this and go in here and I'm just going to right click new layer, other skeleton. I'm going to call this brows like so 
and uh, let me move this up there right click create child bone and of course we already know where I'm gonna remove the parent so that they are independent bones like so and uh, I'm gonna rotate this by 90 degrees right like that rotate this one by 90 degrees as well all right and just position them where I want them to go uh, no it doesn't have to be perfect right um, so for bro left I'm gonna select this and hold on control select the brows zoom in right click link to bone let me just do this one real quick as well right right click link to bone and of course because it's it's within the face folder the face folder and the, the face bone uh forgot to write um b face bone why do i have r right here well that was a mistake although it doesn't matter what we name it but remember that I've been using B to identify the bones. So let me just underscore B. All right, so that is that is good. Oh, I'll, and remember to name your bones. I'm not going to spend time to name them in the video, but just remember to name your bones. So as I was saying, because those are within the this group here and the face bone controls that, when you move them, of course the eyebrows will move, All right? So that is cool and uh, if I want to move every um all the parts of the head we will just use this and they all move along with them okay so that is pretty neat and remember to save all right all right so that's pretty much it for the main part of the rig um there there are some other things that we'll have to go in and do for example the eyes um we'll need to rig the eyes because you know the eyes do blink and um, the eyebrows, we'll have to create different shapes for the eyebrows. And of course, the, the hands as well, or the, the gloves. Um, and maybe even the shoe. And whatever else that um, needs multiple um, switches or changes. So just to prepare for the next video, and uh, we'll start with the eyebrow, the, the left eyebrow here. Let me go down to where it says head. And I'm going down to face. And then brows. Da, da, da. Bro L, Bro R, and the reason why I add these separate was, uh, I mean, you could have one folder for both eyebrows, and then you just create shapes to switch them out. But um, I did two separate folders because there's no way to fully know how much different um, drawings I would need for different scenarios. Like you know, maybe I want one brow to move up while the other is moving down. Maybe I want the, both of them to move straight. Maybe I want them to move separately. I don't know because I didn't. Uh, we're we're kind of working in reverse here. I didn't create a character sheet. Um, so uh, what we can do is open this up. So we're working with the the right. Well, let me work with the left brow here. So to prepare for our next video, just group these. Um, group the the shapes within the the left eyebrow layer, so I'm going to group that. I'm going to call this, um, well, brow underscore shape underscore one, right? So that is the first shape within the brow, right? And don't worry, that won't affect uh, <laughs> the rig, right? So we're going to create multiple shapes for that one. And then um, we'll, we'll go in and create shapes for the other areas of the, the head. But uh, that's it for this one. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.